morning. So today is day two of Boston. I'm on my own this morning. I'm going to go around the historical district and the Boston Commons and stuff. And in the afternoon, I'm going to Harvard and we're going to go get Korean barbecue together. Um, my friend has class. I'm on spring break, but she's not, so that's where we're going. So I made it to the Boston Commons. It is right here. And then up on that hill is the City Hall building, I think. I'm not really sure. Right behind me is another building. I'm not quite sure what. <laughs> But we're on the Freedom Trail right now. I'm gonna go see all the cool old buildings. here but I'm standing outside of the Paul Revere house it was really cute it's only five dollars admission 450 for students um, but you have to pay in cash uh, I think this was one of my favorite ones because it's actually Paul Revere's house and that's pretty cool if you ask me and it's also extremely cheap compared to literally everything else Paul Revere's house is a bit out of the way compared to all the other different uh, national parks However, it was really cute and it's a first century house, so if you don't have time to go to Salem, I definitely recommend going there because it is extremely old. <laughs> All of the National Historical Parks here have been really expensive, which is not great. Um, in Salem, they were all like $15 and that's the cheap student rate. Um, here they've all been around $10. Paul Revere's is the cheapest so far, so recommend it. <laughs> Hall is really cute. It's free. They have a really cute little like functioning printing press in the one corner and then some little shops in it. Um, now I'm heading over to North Market and Quincy Market. Um, this is where there's a bunch of foods and stuff. I don't know, sort of like a Chelsea Market if you know New York. I'm gonna go get lunch with Stephanie. Mike's Pastries, it's really, really good. It's like old school Italian pastries. Uh, we got the Boston Cream Puffs and they were delicious. Also, it's cash only though, so bring your dollars. <laughs> went to the, I don't even remember what it's called already. Old North Church. <laughs> we just went to the Old North Church. It was $8 admission, $2 cheaper if you don't want to do 
the little climby part. Um, the climby part was okay, it was sort of cute. You went up a couple floors, but then the cool part was you got to go into the crypts, which was really weird. I've never seen crypts like that. <laughs> um, and then your admission ticket also gets you access into the church, which is the church that Paul Revere uh, fled with the lantern and then signal the signal lantern thing. Um, Paul Revere didn't actually go to that church though, but he did, he was part of the people that rang the bells. So there's also a cool little chocolate part thing where they make um, chocolate <laughs> as colonial people and that was pretty good. <laughs> So I took the red line from Boston into Harvard. It was only a couple stops, super easy. And now I'm just sort of wandering around the Harvard campus. I wanted a couple of their buildings, the student centers and stuff. You could just like get in, but I don't know. We'll go see what else I can find. <laughs> I'm meeting up with Stephanie for dinner later at Korean Barbecue, so I'm super excited.